In this video, we are going to introduce side operation. If we open this uh, column, this is our reflexive uh, absorber. We will find out that we have a side operation here, and you can add it from the side. Why it's important? Okay, let's go to this whiteboard and check this. This is our distillation column. We mentioned that we have our feed here. This is our uh, crude oil uh, or the feed. And we also added a steam here. The products are, we have a light gas or uh, off gases. We also have naphtha. We can also have kerosene, diesel, diesel, atmospheric gas oil, AGO, and some residue. Before in this course, the previous video, we have added the LG, the naphtha, and the residue. The residue, we uh, withdraw it from the bottom, but most of the time, it is taken from a reboiler at the bottom. And LG and the naphtha, they are taken at the same temperature from a condenser. A condenser. So, we are left with kerosene, diesel, and EGO. For these three products, we are going to add three side operation, which is called, uh, which we are going to uh, withdraw uh, this product from. In this case, we are going to add uh, steam stripper and also bump around or side stripper. So we take it from side stripper, or we can also add a bump around. What happened at a side stripper and what happened as a bump around? Okay, if we look here, we will find out for the side stripper. This is our distillation column, and for EGO, we take it from this tray. This is our EGO. Then we take it and feed it to a stripper. The stripper could be a steam, so you enter a steam as a bottom, or you can have a reboiler, so it's a reboil. Uh, stripper okay we enter steam here so it strip any light hydrocarbons that is not related to EGO maybe some traces from diesel enter here so it returned back to our column for the bumper round this is the side stripper for the bumper round you take part of the product and you bump it and to lower its temperature so you have a cooler maybe or a heat exchanger to lower the temperature and you bump it back to the column or the distillation column to lower its temperature. So here we are going to introduce side operations such as side stripper or a bump around. We need to add, to add this side uh, products draw for the other products like as we mentioned kerosene, diesel and EGO. Each of these products will be removed from a side stripper. So the first one, LG and the naphtha, are removed from a condenser. The residue is removed from a reboiler. And these products are removed from a side stripper. And as I mentioned before, there are two types of side strippers available. You can use a steam or it could be a reboiled side stripper. Okay. In this course, we are going to introduce one steam or two steam and one reboiled uh, side stripper. Also for the bumper round, this part here, it's used to improve the column efficiency because it, it operates by drawing a liquid stream from one stage and cool it and then bump it back to a higher stage like this one, okay? Uh, so now we go back to Heises. This is our Heises case. And here we are going to open this one to add our side operation. So we go to our side operation here. At the beginning, we are going to add some steam stripper for EGO. So we start from the bottom. We are going to add steam side stripper. Um, okay, so we hear from steam side. Here you have a reboiled side stripper. Uh, in this case, you can have return to this one here and for re side reaction here, bump around, vapor. So in this case, we are going to add side 
uh, stripper and if we open here it will be a reboil size stripper it is suggested here because we haven't entered any steam uh, streams okay so here we are going to add a stripper and in this case we have information that its name is EGO atmospheric gas oil side stripper SS for side stripper we will take from the lower stage the draw stage will be 22 22 and it will be returned or strip any traces to 21 okay and here we have our draw product to be EGO product so EGO product okay and in this case we don't have a steam feed because we didn't enter any steam feed okay after finishing we can install it so this one here so we have installed it here it will appear as number of stages that includes and from it is taken from 22 and return it back to 21 okay after that we are going to do next at next here we have our steam stripper okay so steam stripper is the second one so we go here in the previous one and here we can delete this one uh, just we are going to go back and delete okay um, there was another option to add another uh, steam steam mystery okay so in this case we are going to side input here and in this case we are not going to enter a, a, a repoil we are going to enter a steam so again we enter the data we have EGO this is the name of this side stripper it's EGO feed e EGO side stripper and we have a steam feed in this time it's EGO steam and we have a product which is AGO uh, product and we have a return stage as we mentioned before it's 21 and we withdraw or withdraw from stage number 22 here we are done with all our information here so we only need to install it so after being installed now we are sure that it's a steam stripper as I mentioned before, in this one, for the repoil, you are going to create your own steam and enter it. But in Aspen Heises, they have created the steam stripper, uh, steam strip side strip. Okay, after that, we are going to do next and we are going to look for a bump around. As a bump around, here we have our bump around. So we take from one stream, uh, this is our rectifier we know from this one so here we have a bump around the bump around will be uh, we are going to add its information now it will take from again the draws okay here we add a bump around it will take from 22 because we are still talking about the bump around of EGO and the return back to 21 and the name is the bump EGO bump around EGO bump around or PA and now we are going to install it so we have now also another bump around in total the two side operation contribute to degree three degree freedom how would, would you know after doing next we here we have vapor by bus we don't want to add this one and here we have a steam strip and after that you have set your bump around and next this is another EGO okay so you will keep moving this one so if we cancel here and our column now is unconverged okay so double click to open it and we go to our monitor at the monitor you will find out that you have a degree of freedom equal to zero but it's unconverged because now you will have other data like you have now the bottom product rate, EGO side stripper, and bar around information. So we are going to uncheck all of this to know what is our degree of freedom. The degree of freedom after adding a bump around and side stripper will equal to three. So you need to add more three specification 
to um, to our column to be able to run and converge. In this case, we are going to add EGO, statistical product flow, EGO PA rate. So this information is already, is already given and EGO PA duty. So now we are given EGO statistical product flow. EGO statistical product flow we are given it to be 30 meter cube uh, per hour. Here our EGO size server, this one is given to be 30 meter cube per hour. And the second information that we have is EGO PA rate. EGO PA rate is given to be 200 meter cube per hour. And the third information is EGO PA duty is given to be negative 3.693 E with a power 7. Okay. So this is our third information here. Now we are going to activate or check the information that we enter to be active. Now this one we haven't entered yet. So we have this three. Column feed stream EGO doesn't have enough information. So here we press OK. So now we have this one is zero. So the degree freedom equal to zero. So if we run now, we have this information about the column feed stream EGO steam. So now you are asked to define the material stream. So we go back here and it's given that the steam here, EGO steam, is not well defined. So the composition, we know that it's water. So the water is going to be to be the composition of water is going to be one so we enter one here this is our first information also for the steam we are going to add some conditions like the temperature of the EGO steam is 150 and the pressure is 345 kilopascal and the mass mass flow not the molar, the mass flow is 1150 kilogram mole per hour and we know that the composition we have entered it to be one for water okay apparently it doesn't fit here so one and enter okay so okay so now it could be converged if we enter the column and go to the monitor it will be conversion it's uh, the error message is important to read because it shows you where is the problem okay again after finishing your simulation you go to the performance and check your feed you have atmospheric feed you have a bottom steam that we entered from the previous video and now this is our ego steam that we entered now we till now you have your nafta your off gas and the nafta we have defined them before and this is the waste water. This is the condensation from the bottom steam. Or atmospheric residue we have entered before. And EGO product. This is our atmospheric gas oil that we withdraw by a side stripper and also a pump around. If we go here, we didn't find anything related to our uh, pump around. But you can check this one by entering the environment. Okay. So from the flow sheet. So enter the flow sheet okay after opening here you will find your pump around and strip. okay we don't need this one now okay so here you will have this one here this is the condenser and as a condenser we have our off gas we will have a nafta and a waste water okay nafta and waste water okay and also from the bottom we have the atmospheric residue here we have our EGO product our EGO product will be here above the atmospheric residue this is your side stripper and this is the pump around so if we double click to open the pump around here this is the cooler and this is the work if you enter the work sheet this is the information for the performance this is the pressure and the temperature okay this is for the cooler of the pump around. This is your side stripper. It's a three stage. It's like a separate column with a three stage. You have, um, okay, if we go here, it's a three stage. You have a steam at the bottom, which strip any light component, and you have your EGA 
through that. After finishing it, checking it, you can go back by go to parent and you you're back to your main simulation.